in, in Tanzania. And the inaugural Young Scientist Kenya National Science and Technology Exhibition has concluded with the winners taking home not just happy smiles but coveted prizes courtesy of YSK, the Embassy of Ireland and Blaze by Safaricom. The event whose opening was officiated by President Uhuru Kenyatta ended on Friday evening at the KICC. The ICT Cabinet Secretary Joe Musheru, who attended the award ceremony, praised the students for the talent and potential that they displayed at the exhibition. Of the 92 projects in the competition, and out of 160 students, Wilson Irungu and Abdul Hakman Sheikh Ali from Nakuru High School emerged the winners with a revolutionary internet based energy monitoring and audit system concept. Sophia Medza and Bakaya Konchoro from Mui Girls Marsibit came close with their project dubbed Making Construction Blocks from Non Biodegradable Polymers. Thinking the clarity of thought, the way they've looked at things. You know, they were showing how you can ensure even uh, money is not lost, ways of eliminating corruption. All these things that we think are only dear to us are actually dear to them just as much. And therefore, it's upon each of us to break barriers and work together. So this is um, an electric meter, the energy meter that uh, measures the electrical consumption parameters of individual loads and the mains. It can work with both DC and AC. And with this meter, the society, the Kenyan society will save a lot. The power companies will also save a lot because there's no need for auditing personnel to come to your house since this device does the auditing by itself. Our project is about making building blocks from non-biodegradable polymers. Those are the plastic, the plastic bags, and even the plastic bottles. You take the plastics, you heat them until they form a molten syrup. Then you take sand, you add in it. Then you stir for about for sometimes until the mixture mixes thoroughly. Then you take the sand, you take a mold any shape you want. You oil the mold to prevent the coffee the the block from being stuck in it. Then you add the mixture. You leave it for about five to ten minutes and wait for it to dry. Our project aims at reducing the environmental pollution since we are using the plastic waste that are all over in the environment and also reduces the cost of building materials since we are replacing the use of cement by using the plastic bags.